and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express my heartfelt admiration and praise for the remarkable Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson. Stevenson's literary legacy has left an indelible mark upon the world of literature, captivating readers across generations with its enchanting storytelling and profound insights into the human condition. Through his words, he could transport us to distant lands, ignite our imagination, and inspire us to embark on thrilling adventures. What sets Stevenson apart as a literary genius is his unparalleled ability to craft stories that resonate with both young and old, transcending the boundaries of time and age. From the timeless classic Treasure Island, which continues to ignite the dreams of young expiring adventurers, to the gripping duality of human nature explored in The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Stevenson's tales are not merely stories, but windows into the complexities of human nature. In his passion for storytelling was infused with an exquisite blend of adventure, mystery, and a deep understanding of the human psyche. Robert Louis Stevenson, with his boundless creativity and enduring tales, has truly earned his place among the literary immortals, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to captivate the hearts and minds of readers worldwide. Mr. Livingston, would you be so kind as to put an end to the cacophony in the background? It would be my pleasure, sir. Good evening and welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. You've just met my noble houseman, Mr. Livingston, a studious gentleman that knows how to properly maintain and manage a formidable estate like my lovely Polter Mansion. And the tiny creature terrorizing some of my household staff would be the typically demure Miss Tangella, whose grace, wit, and charm are second only to her ability to hotwire a 2008 BMW 3 Series sedan in order to ghost ride the poor vehicle over the edge of one of the cliffs at our lovely Bodega Bay. And do we have a most remarkable program in store for you? My purpose in my prior praise of Mr. Stevenson is because tonight... You, you do know that one of these days the two of them shall conspire to smother you in your sleep, do you not? Hopefully sooner rather than later. Tonight we'll feature an impressive film based upon one of his stories, The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll, from 1960. This is a fantastic film featuring the wonderful Christopher Lee, but not in the titular role. That part goes to Paul Massey. And his troubled fiancé is portrayed by the lovely and talented Dawn Adams. Livingston, who might be our guest this evening? Nobody. Very good. Tonight we'll be joined by nobody to tell us nothing about this film. But since we'll have some extra time, perhaps we'll read more of your mail and check in with the crew of this ill-mannered manor. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned.
oh my goodness, Livingston. Yes. Do you know what is on at 9 p.m. on Channel 4? I do not. Clint Eastwood in Dirty Harry. Mm. Now, listen, the action-packed, tough cop movie that tops them all. Oh, there's a, there's a disclaimer. Intended for mature audiences, parental discretion is advised. We cannot let her watch this, could we? She's probably seen it 20 no, times. That's right. No, but no, we don't want her to get any ideas is the problem. Anyways, enough of that. Welcome to Creature Features. It's another one of those nights where we show a film. Hopefully. But it's not one of those nights where we have a guest because all I've got is Tangella and her, her umbrella, parasol. Parasol. And her ugly baby. And her which dead is, baby. No, it's okay if she brings the ugly baby when she has a parasol because she can cover it up, right? I'm not understanding I the logic. It, she can take the light off of it and then it won't come up on the cameras, right? See? It's in the shade. Anyways, uh, great movie tonight. The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll, 1960. This is a fantastic film. Have you seen it? Unfortunately. And you did not like it? It's not my favorite. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a it's a hammer film, or it's a film with hammers. Yeah, she's like a hammer film. She, she has was, a thing for hammers. No, she was having hammer time with uh, our staff before this. So uh, it's gonna be a fun movie. No guests tonight, but we'll we'll read some extra mail and uh, we'll have some fun with the crew. And uh, we think you'll enjoy it, right? You're gonna enjoy it. Oh, will I? He always does. So stick around. We will see you at the next break. And don't get scared. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear that I have been tasked yet again to deliver another plea intended to separate you from your hard-earned money. This program now has its own channel and associated apps that allow you to watch the entire Creature Features library and much more. Entitled Creature Features TV, this is a system that works much like Netflix or Hulu. Besides early access to all the new Creature Features episodes, You'll also have access to many other offerings and some archival episodes of the original show with Mr. Bob Wilkins. You'll also have exclusive access to a new Creature Feature show that will be introduced soon and will not be available anywhere else. Your generous but modest monthly subscription fee will also greatly assist in the continued production of the show, so there's that as well. Miss Tangela has asked me to inform you that if you subscribe to Creature Features TV, she will be sure to create more dancing videos just for you. I think not. So please visit www.creaturefeaturestv.com to learn more. Thank you for your time. Saturday night, Saturday night, Saturday night is when we do creature features and he has a smile on his face. No, you don't, do you? Yeah. Why would, you would I do that? If you would smile more often, I think less people would point at you. No one points at me. No, people point at you all the time. I see it happen. They say, oh, look at that bloke. He's, he's not smiling. I wonder why he's so sad. People ask me at the grocer, what? They ask me at the grocer why you're always so sad. And I tell him, he's not sad. He just makes that face. Mmm. I was born this way. No, no. You make the mmm face. Mmm? Mmm. Please interpret like, no, that. You just said mmm. That's a face that's, that you have. You have a handsome face. I don't know why you want to put... I don't know why you'd want to put mmm on your face. 
I thought myrrh was a type of incense. I don't know. I don't speak that foreign language that you understand. Oh. In any case, uh, fun fact about this film, it was, uh, will you please stop that? And you, I don't know how you get cursed all the time, but that does not even look like him. Oh, look, it's got a bottom. Look, it's got an actual bottom on the bottom of the door. Don't know no more of that. Uh, Christopher Lee's favorite movie was this film you're watching now, which surprises me. Why? Because he's been in, in, I believe, I thought, better films than this. He's been in many, many films. Exactly. So why would this be his favorite? I don't know. Yeah, no. And he's not alive for us to ask him, is he? We could have a seance. Is Christopher Lee dead? Yes, he is. He's Quiet. dead. No. A, science, a seance? Seance. That's something she would say. You're far too logical to suggest a seance, young man. I was being facetious. No, I should call you old man. Oh. Uh, he, he makes a face every time I call him an old man. But you know what? You're older than me, and I'm an old man, so you're an older man. That's I am you're... older than you. This you are an old true. man. All right, let's get back to the film, and when we come back, let's uh, do some mail, shall we? We shall. All right, off we go. Back to the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. See you soon. Ow! What's wrong with you? Welcome back to Creature Features. We'll get back to the movie in a moment. But we've got to do some mail because look at all this mail. It all came in the post, right? Normally it does. No, normally it comes by email, but you cannot send a box by email. I've learned this the hard way. An enclosure does not mean an actual package. No, it does not. No, I tried to send, I tried to send some sweets back to my mum. Didn't work. Not through email, so I had to use the post. You never cease to amaze me. I never cease to amaze myself either. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? I have a letter from Germany, from a Tatiana. Is it in German? No, it's in English. Tatiana Strange. Stranger. No, it says Strange. I know it doesn't. Do you think mind. her name is actually Stronger? Stranger. Oh, this is lovely writing with the gold pen. It gets better. This is incredible. All right, let's see what we got from Tatiana in Deutschland. Deutschland, very good. Deutschland. All right. She goes, hello, Vince. Oh, look, you know, I know she's German because she spelled it hello. H-A-L-L-O. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Vincent Livingston and Tangella. I would like to thank you for producing the world. No. I would like to thank you for providing the world with unusual entertainment. You know, if anything's unusual around here, it's this guy. Ugh. Otherwise, there would be nothing but morons going on and on about the Kardashians and what, what's not on YouTube. You know, she's right. The Kardashians get way more press than we do. They certainly do. The Kardashians don't live in a haunted house. The Kardashians never played in a major rock and roll metal band. Not yet. And the Kardashians never blew up a, a, a restroom at Yankee Stadium, did they? Ugh. You're absolutely right, love. Um, I have some questions. Where does Vincent's accent come from? Dutch. Oh, I've never heard that one before. Interesting observation. No, no. My accent is what happens to a British accent who's been in America for... 35 years, right? Too long. Too long. It becomes a mishmash. Yeah. My mom, when I call her, she, she goes, oh, who's on the phone? Who's this yank on the phone? Right? You've heard her say that before. I've heard her say that. I, I think she's, she's realistic. I don't think she's, she's faking it. All right. Uh, where in Germany was Livingston born? Heidelberg. Heidelberg. He was, he was born where the Heidels were, right? 
It's That's the burg of Heidel's. Not quite. What Heidel that City means. is what it means, right? No. No, it means castle. I don't oh, burg means castle. Burg is a castle. Oh, Heidel Castle. He was born in Heidel Castle in the dungeon. Oh. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. All right. Why doesn't Tangela ever talk? She talks all the time. She just won't speak to people she doesn't know or when the camera is on. As soon as we turn the camera off, it's like... She's rather shy. No, she's not shy at all. She just doesn't speak for some reason. I don't know why. All right. I regret not being able to send a donation as artists are making less money than ever before. We know about that. And don't worry. It's fine. Just make sure you subscribe on YouTube. It's free. And that's like money to us, right? I believe so. It is. No, no, no. Do you know that only 20% of the millions of people who watch us on YouTube have subscribed? Only 20%. Only 20%. And all these people are watching our program right now who have not pushed a single little button that says subscribe. It'd be so nice if you did that. And I, I might stop griping about it for a while, right? Well, I guess you have to promote it. I should. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have, however, enclosed a poem that I hope you will enjoy. Keep up the good work. Dark greetings from Berlin, Tatiana. All right, this looks like, oh, this is an absolutely wonderful poem. And it's too long for me to read, but I shall enjoy this in private, Tatiana. Thank you so much for the note. And we hope everything is wonderful in Germany. Berlin. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Berlin's in Germany, right? As far as I know. Oh, my goodness. You know, I think, yeah, I think you can get all right, package, and this is the letter that came with the package. And this is for Ms. Tangela. Oh, look at this. And you drop something. All right, this is a little something for the Lady Tangela. You know, there's only one person that calls her the Lady Tangela, and that's Dave from Oregon, right? We have him Oregon, Dave. yes. No, he's, he's quite generous with the gifts. What do you get? Looks, what is that? Looks like a wallet of some that's sort. That's lovely. No. A portemonnaie. Is it for... Money. No, it's a oh, it's, it's a writing thing. It's some type oh, of Oh, it's charcoal pencils. Charcoal Oh, it's a pencil set. There's a whole slew of them in there. All right, what else? You know, she's quite the artist. You don't want to see her art though, it's quite dark. Dark is not the word. Oh, look at this. This is a an easel. What is this? Hold it still so I can see. US art supply 140 piece. Mega wood box art painting and drawing set with color mixing wheel and a pack of 9 by 12 draw and sketching pads. Something else to make a mess. No, you know, it's good because she needs to color more often, right? And she won't be chasing our staff about with a hammer, right? Thank you, Dave. It's a wonderful gift and it's going to keep her out of trouble for a while. And that is a gift to me, not to her. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Lake City, Florida. Robin. Robin. Robin, is that Smithery? I can't read. Not sure. Lake City, Florida. Oh, you know, I like the notes from Florida. Because, you know, you always hear about Florida man, but seldom do you hear about Florida and woman. Florida weather. No, because they're busy writing to us. That's why. All right, dear Vincent, Miss Livingston, and Tangela. Uh, thank each of you for having amazing movies. Best of all, uh, it's each of you that makes Creature Features so great to watch. I was so thrilled to find your YouTube channel one night, and I am now so thrilled. I can truly say each of you make it worthwhile. I look forward to the intermissions with y'all as much as I do the movies. Much love to each of you, Robin Smithery. P.S. If y'all are ever in Florida, you are welcome to stay with us on our farm. Tangella, you can use the pitchfork too. You know, well, I wonder what kind of farm they have. Why would they need a pitchfork? Well, you know, use a pitchfork for pitch. Pitch? You, you know what pitch is, don't you? No. That's, that's the mixture of hay and manure that you find in a barn. Oh. And this, this is a fork that you use. You do not fork it into your mouth. Either. I thought it was because you would use it to pitch something to a wagon. No, let's say he's a sportsman. All right, last one. Last one. Here we go. Oh, this is heavy. Indeed. My goodness, what could it be? Oh, my goodness. I've never seen anything like this. This can't be for me. No, this has got to be for you. All right. Send that to the young lady. 
you're going to like this. All right. Hello, Vincent Tenjo and Livingston. My name is Rich Schumacher, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I discovered your show last week, Halloween, when I was looking for The Night Stalker on YouTube. Since then, I have been hooked on your show. I play it while I'm working in my shop. I have to stop and watch when you take breaks and do mail or interviews. Well, stop working now because you're on mail, sir. You play a lot of movies that I grew up on. The Night Stalker, Sinbad, Gargoyles, etc. Brings back childhood memories of being afraid of the dark. I have an Etsy store called Epic Works where I make hoof shoes and monster feet for cosplayers. Show, pull it out. Look at that. That's a pair of shoes that's a hoof. Someone is going to oh wear God. that? I, I, I want to see her wear that next week. I have enclosed a pair of hoof shoes for Tangella since she's a little devil. I thought she should have cloven hooves, so I made her a pair. They do make a clip-clop sound when you walk in them, so that may get annoying for everyone in the mansion. You know, if that slows her down a bit, I think the staff in the mansion will be quite pleased to hear that clop-clop sound. Uh, keep up the great work. Thanks, Rich. P.S. I had to guess on the size. If they don't fit, let me know her size, and I will make another pair. She's a, what are you, size like six, right? No, size five? Size five. And those look close. We'll make them work. Thank you so much, Rich. That's wonderful. And uh, the Etsy store is called Epic Works with an X. Those are the uh, strangest shoes I have ever seen. Those are the most wonderful shoes I've ever seen. Is that it? That's it. That's it for mail. We'll now get back to the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. And when we come back, uh, Hendrew has something he wants to show us, right? I believe so. Right. All right. Off we go. Back to the film. See you soon. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you're a little bit late. Quite a little bit, right? Quite a bit, actually. It's all right, though. You haven't missed too much. Uh, we're watching The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll, 1960. And you know what's an interesting thing about uh, this film? No. Is what well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, 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 11 years later, Hammer made a film called Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde because they liked making this film so much. Well, they wanted to make another was she a nun? I don't know what the connection is. Sister Hyde? Sister Hyde. Oh, Sister Hyde, like as in Sister Mary. Mary Magdalene. Hyde. Right, right. No, that's, he, he made a pun. Did she hide a lot because she had a bad habit? or? I, the, the hell is freezing over right now. He made a pun. You didn't catch that. You didn't catch mine. Oh, all right. Well, we're joined by Andrew. And uh, Andrew's here because he wants to show us uh, a toy. What is that, a toy? It's a fr toy. It's a skateboard. That a, oh, look at this. Uh, oh. A professional skateboard friend of mine um, made for a me. A professional skateboard friend. What's his name? Um, Anthony Eagle. You might Wait a minute. You and, skateboard? Um, That's I, your age? Well, you know, if he comes in the home with, no, with, with bruises on his face and Tangella did not do it, it's because he was riding a skateboard. Hmm. Yeah, he made this. It's... Uh, one of a kind from uh, art that one of our uh, fans sent in. I was going to say that looks like something familiar. So, are these being mass produced? No, this is a one of a kind. One of a kind, and he made just for you. Have you have you tried it yet? The wheels look clean still. Mm, just a little bit around them in the mansion. Does it go fast? It can. Right now, how do you change the tiny motors? There are no motors. 
Oh, it's I one of those. What are you talking about? Well, I thought all skateboards nowadays had motors. No. Oh, dear. What do you mean, oh, dear? I see, I see people going uphill on a skateboard. With a motor? Yeah. With a motor. They have motorized skateboards, right? I'm yeah. not insane. No. Is it gas I've or not diesel? gone mad. Electric. Yeah, he needs, he needs to get out of the house more often, oh. right? No, you need to see the world. You need, you need to go out and ride an electric scooter. I have no time. Tangella took me for a scooter ride. Electric scooter. Electric scooter, right? No, you plug them into the wall and they go. After you unplug them. After they're charged. Oh. Enough of this guy. Anyways, let's get back to the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. And uh, when we return, uh, something fun's going to happen, right? No. All right. Maybe. Maybe not. See you soon. Hello all, my name is Nikita and I live in Apex, North Carolina. I just wanted to let you all know that you are wonderful and I do love this show and it brings back so many memories for me from my childhood. I think you guys are doing an awesome job. Keep it going. Thank you all. Take care and have a great day. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. You know, uh, Tangella, this film confuses me because Dr. Chekhov is not as attractive as Mr. Hyde. It's supposed to be the other way around, is it not? In the original story, I imagine. Hmm. Well, it just seems rather peculiar to me that they would reverse those roles. I just what kind of game is she doing? She wants to be on TV. No, no, I'm just Dustin. Just Dustin. You know, she's... While we're filming. Are you filming? So sorry about that. So sorry. <sighs> right. Are you wearing your shoes? Let, show, show us your shoes. Let's see. Put them up. Let's see. Put them up all the way up. There we go. You can put your... Do there you go. She makes a nice pony, does she not? It's a cloven hoof. It is a cloven hoof. And look, it's all dusted. and Wow. Now you've got a shoe shine person available to you. That's that's very nice. So uh, this movie so far, what do you think, Mr. Livingston? I think it's rather strange. It's rather strange. Well, it's it's strange like these shoes, right? Those I, they call those shoes. They are shoes, but it's it's strange and wonderful at the same time, right? To it's you, it's like perhaps. a dichotomy. A dichotomy. Right, right, something like that. All right. Well, uh, what do you say uh, we get back to this film? Please. And then uh, when we get back, perhaps Mrs. O'Connor can find another portion of the household to maintain. I would recommend that. Right. All right. Off we go to the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. We will see you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. 
I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Feature. She ran off to take off those hoofs. They were rather large. No, it looks painful to have cloven feet. Right? I can imagine. I mean, no, imagine you've got your toes separating in the middle. It must be hideous. I thought she was born with them. You think she was? Mm -hmm. oh, it's possible. I you think you'll know. pay for that remark. Right, right. In any case, we'll get back to the two faces of Dr. Jekyll in a moment. But first, I've got to take care of some home business. Andrew, I've asked you back because uh, this third floor toilet issue is becoming somewhat rather inconvenient to me. And you know why? Tangella uses that toilet. And now that it's not functional, she comes down and uses the one in my room. When, when, when are we going to get this bloody toilet Still fixed? waiting on... Special parts for Tracy's trying to find special Victorian plumbing parts for that toilet. It's not easy to find. They are rather scarce. So let's just replace the entire bloody thing. You can't really we'll do put it. A, the pipes are different sizes, and they put did a modern toilet seven. inside. Then, then she could use a modern toilet. Yeah, not, but it wouldn't look proper. I mean, it just you got to have the aesthetics. Care how it the, looks? She's using the 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 loo in my my chambers, and it's becoming rather inconvenient for me. Because every time I go to use it, she's inside. I don't know what she's doing in there. I don't think she's doing any business. She's That's just rather bothersome. Oh, is in my loo. All right. You know, this is this is what life is like in a Victorian mansion. It's not all ghosts and spooks and 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 fun stuff. It's it's broken Victorian toilets that have no parts available. Finding you know, parts that are not available. No, I've got a plan. I shall invest some money and create a new business called Victorian Toilet Company Incorporated. And then? I shall provide parts for Victorian toilets. And who will install them? I don't care who installs them. They will be available for other households who have the same issue. Hmm. I don't know. It's an idea. Write in. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're watching on YouTube or write us a letter explaining why I should not do this. And where should they send that letter? Oh, well, they could send it to our Creature Feature mail thing, right? Oh. That's the way to send us mail. Right? Or email. Very nice. Or email. All right. Let's uh, finish up the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. And uh, when we return, uh, something will happen, right? Always. Always. Off we go. See you on the other side of the credits. Don't go away because Tangelo will be back. Bye. And that's the end of the two faces of Dr. Jekyll. You know, I did not expect that ending because the last Dr. Jekyll film I saw did not end quite like this.
No, it did not. No, it ended in a court of law, which is... I, I suppose that's how you should deal with monsters now and then, right? Is through the legal system. It's a civilised way. It is. No, no, no. Instead of this whole burning the castle down, you just send them to jail, right? Mobs with pitchforks. There you go. Mobs with pitchforks. Lawyers. No, lawyers with pitchforks, right? Mm. Anyway, so uh, that is it for that movie. We'll show it again someday, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what you say. Because, you know, sometimes people say, I did not like this film. Never show it again. And, you know, I've got to look at comments like this and, and ponder, maybe we should not show it again, right? Listen to your viewers. Well, you know, sometimes the viewers are wrong, though, because we'll get one person that says, never show this movie again, and five that say, I love it. I cannot wait till you show it again. Who do I believe? Who's right in this particular opinion? You never know. It's mystery. Democracy. So, that's right. What's new for Mr. Livingston? What's on your agenda? Well, I'm trying to find these parts for the loo on the third floor. Right. No, no. It's been an ongoing issue, and uh, hopefully between you, Mr. Andrew, and Miss Tracy. I will have to have a word with Miss Tracy. Well, you've got more going on than that. Well, I do, but you don't want to hear it. I suppose I don't. Now, I've got my own problems. Yes, you do. I don't particularly want to hear yours. All right, well, that about sums it up for us. Uh, Tangela has nothing to say about the film. She's hula hooping. He's complaining about uh, being tasked with finding toilet parts. And uh, I'm just going to sit here till next week when I get to see you again. So uh, thank you so much for staying up and watching our show instead of Clint Eastwood, right? They could have been watching Clint Eastwood instead of our film, but they stayed with us. And we hope it was the best choice you could have made. I think it was. Don't you? Of course. No, it doesn't. But uh, come back next week. We cannot wait to see you again. And don't forget, we love you. See you next time. So, uh, Livingston, I yes. get lots of mail from people who watch our Friday night show who say, where's Mr. Livingston? He's not there. Is he not on the show anymore? And I try to explain you're off on Friday night. But what do you think about perhaps sitting in just for one night on a Friday. You don't bloody pay me enough.